New Boots Day, part two. Um, I actually got two pairs of custom boots uh, within a day of each other. One pair yesterday and one pair today, but I'm doing the videos in the same day, so I'm dressed the same. <laughs> uh, I didn't sleep in this. As, as long as it takes to get these boots, it's amazing that two pair would come at the same time. But these are uh, Frank's boots. And these come with a cool story, at least cool to me. My, uh, my grandfather was a mechanical and electrical engineer. And by the time I remember things, he really wasn't in the field. He still had this old pair, mostly worn out black boots that he wore everywhere except the church. And I always remembered the boots. And so when we, after his death, and we were going through his stuff, and people were saying, you know, there's there any memories or any things that you keepsakes uh, to remind him by, uh, nobody wanted these boots. Maybe because they were old, worn out, uh, maybe because they didn't fit anybody. But I had a memory of always seeing these boots. And I could tell that they were super high quality, le thick leather. And my father had always said that they were quality. I, I knew they were White's boots, but I didn't know anything about White's at the time. So I said, well, I'll take the boots. Nobody else wants them. Uh, you know, maybe I'll make like a, a, a shadow box. Maybe... Maybe I'll find a leather pro project to use the thick leather on that'll remind me of them. But they've been sitting around, and I thought I got into the, the the logger boots and the fire and rescue boots, the Pacific Northwest boots, and I thought, wow, you know, I wonder, I wonder if I can just, I wonder if I can get these rebuilt, and then I can kind of walk around with my grandfather's boots and a memory. So. I had reached out to Frank's. Uh, they're my favorite. I think they do the best job. It's, uh, they're very personable. They, they, they listen. Um, they seem up for anything. Uh, so I sent them off to them, and they're like, yeah, sure. You know, we can rebuild these. So that's what we did. So these are our rebuilds of my grandfather's boots. Great presentation here. Card. Thank you card from Frank and his wife. These people are great. Right, thank you card. Um, these are these are the heel liners, the slip liners. It's a pretty thin, maybe it. I don't know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch thick. Uh, they they usually just go over your heel area in case there's a nail that's uh, a, a little higher or something. Um, but I had requested a, a, a set that was full and, and wasn't glued down. Uh, my previous pair, uh, I had decided I wanted to do inserts, but I didn't have room. So I asked them if they'd do this for me. So, very appreciative of those. Um, let's see, boots here. I guess that's what everybody wants to see. All right, so that's one. That's the other. So, like I said, the uppers are, are very old. <laughs> Laces, the kilties. All right, I'll, I'll, before I get the rest, there's some more stuff in there. All right, so I had done custom stuff. Um, the 
the leather toe box I've got I did four in a row stitching which seems to be my I guess my trademark at this point I don't think I have ever seen any other Pacific Northwest boots do that they've usually got a space between the two stitches or they've got some baroquing but I wanted four in a row I got four in a row in the last pair uh, worked great looked great it still looks great on these as well at least in my opinion um, my previous build was black bison and they still had some of that hide left when I decided to have these rebuilt um, and I wanted a rough out so these are black bison rough out um, which I've never seen before um, same hide as my last pair so I got two pairs of boots they had the same hide that seemed pretty cool to me um, see I, I had asked for the uh, the leather toe cap to start lower than normal on the boot the the last pair I mean, they look fantastic um, and when I'm walking they're fantastic but you know, when I get down on my toes, uh, when I'm bending down working on stuff, it was just a little close to the edge of my foot where it bent. So I'd ask them to, to do it a little further down for me, especially since I'll be uh, on my toes working on the motorcycle and the cars, uh, bending down a lot. So I wanted the extra room there. Uh, I did white stitching to, to show off. Uh, the kind of boots they are I hope that maybe one day somebody will notice them and be, be able to strike up a conversation since uh, you know the double stitches there are not so common they are white X which is the, about the same hardness as the honey vibrams but I wanted black uh, so I requested the white X which uh, doesn't get seen very often a uh, friend of mine had taken a picture of these was in the shop took a picture of these when they were almost done when they they hadn't blacked out the edges yet which is how I had requested it and I thought you know that looks fantastic how about we change that up and just leave it uh, with a raw edge so unfinished looking edge so they changed that up for me. I think that that looks fantastic. Sets the boots off. Let's see what else do we have here? Like I said, the kilties. Uh, you know, it's got that look to it because it's because uh, it's bison. Uh, I'm gonna wear it on the rough side uh, because well, that's really all that's being seen otherwise. Um, Open offs leather cleaner. Open offs leather oil. Open offs LP. And I go through this stuff so fast. And this is a suede brush, brass bristle, bristle brush for the rough outs. Sticker. Probably put that on the toolbox. And a Frank's Boots t shirt. Nice t shirt. Kane's Beefy Tea. Only the best. All right. So I guess that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I am just thoroughly excited. I mean, they, they did a fantastic job. Everything is in place. Uh, they did a repair on the tongue up here for me. Remarked the sizes. My grandfather was a 10B and I'm a 9.5 FF. Just fantastic. Can't wait to start breaking these things in. 
So anybody who's looking for boots, I highly recommend Frank's boots. Like I said, they're fantastic. I mean, they, they know what they're doing. They've got an extremely experienced crew, uh, been in the business for many years and they're always up for a challenge. So, I mean, you know, you don't have to really just do an MTO and, and, and order the model number, or whatever, in a custom fit. If, um, if you want to come up with cool ideas and things that are different, um, I haven't come across anything they're not able to, to do and they're not up for the challenge to do. So, like I said, highly recommend them. Frank's Boots, Spokane, Washington. Thank you very much, guys.